What's up guys, it's John Reeves Live, and today we're going to be checking out a reaction that me and my friend Chris did on our Twitch live stream. We've been doing this thing called Now That's What I Call a List. We're on volume 3 right now, and we will be doing volume 4 whenever I come back from Tokyo, but this is actually taken from one of those three volumes. I've been having a blast introducing him to some of the bands that I've been listening to over the year while reacting. You guys have shown me so many different songs, so many different amazing artists, and I've been wanting to share that with my friends. If y'all new to my channel please smash that sub button i will be including a link to my original solo reaction to this song as well too because we're only showing him stuff i have reacted to if y'all have other suggestions for me to show chris on the next list drop them in the comments below and again if y'all are new to my channel please smash that sub button and let's do this three two one boom the first reaction that i did for k rock it is it was in the tokyo dome and it was oh. a song called take what you want but it was in the Tokyo Dome, and so I think it's really cool that, like, I'm going to be going and seeing them. The first time I'll see them live is in the Tokyo Dome, so I'm really, really so, excited like, about that. So, like, the first song you ever heard of them was mm -hmm. from the Tokyo Dome. Yeah. And the first time you're ever seeing them live. Since, dude, that's And cool. I had no idea that it would be, like, that's cool. even a possibility. And then somebody messaged me on uh, on um, Patreon. They were like, dude. He was like, have you ever thought about trying to get like a media pass or something like that? Because he was like, your YouTube's kind of big. And he was like, maybe you could. I don't know. Hell, maybe they would let you do it. And I was like, I'm not going to stop until I get at least a no from them. And then they were like, yeah, yeah right, sure. <laughs> and so like, dude, I remember you being like, I just like called and left voice voicemails. I, dude, like you called them like every day. I was so <laughs> persistent. I was probably like stalker level persistent. But I was like, sometimes. Yeah, dude. So I don't know. I, I'm very excited about it. And I can't wait to do like an actual like a freaking um like a, a vlog on that. Like I'm really excited about doing that because I just hope they see it. I don't know. And also really quick too, like we were at the Monster Hunter World, uh, the little uh, booth at PAX recently. And uh, they they were like, dude, we were just talking about your YouTube channel. So I was like, holy shit. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Yeah. Heck yeah. We're waiting for you here in Japan in November. Yes. Are you? Ah, oh, Lynn, are you in Japan? Are you going to be there? Oh, I can't wait. I cannot freaking wait. But here we go. Let's what's, freaking do this. This, this is 1OK Rock We Are, okay. which is like such a freaking good song. Every time <sighs> I hear We Are, all I can hear is... Um, P.O.D. Youth of the Nation where they're like, yeah, we yeah. Are, we are. Oh my god. There's that, there's this song, and then there's uh baby metal at the end of every one of their concerts. They go, We are and then everybody's like, Baby metal Dude, that's so cool. Yeah, so now I can't hear we are without thinking those three. Here we go, man. Let's do this freaking whoa boom. Like the scale of this This is my first time ever seeing one okay rock. Really? Yeah. Yes! At the Tokyo Dome! <clears throat> you the nation they know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's nuts. Sixty-five thousand people, I believe. They think that we're no one, we're nothing. No, sorry, they push us. It's too late. It's too late. Not going Boy. back. I love his voice so freaking much. Very expressive face. Yeah. Like that. It's such a clean sound of voice because you can add that last Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I 
like it. I think one thing that I love about him too is, like you said, like he adds that rasp to it. But like he is capable of even so much higher notes than what he just did there, and it's so freaking wild that he can put a lot of distortion. Mm-hmm. Like I, I don't know. There, I think in our it, genre that we grew up in, like if you have that distortion, normally you can't clean it out. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. You either got the muddy water, you yeah, got dirt, you know, yeah. clean stuff. So <laughs> there's but, no separation of the water. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> but like for him, man, he can go very, very raspy, very much so, throwing a lot of distortion in it, or be very clean. And another thing I love about them is, like we talked about earlier, like they're very old school with their vocals. If he screws up live, you'll hear it. He very rarely ever does. I don't think I've ever really heard him do it, but he's like very, uh, they're all, what you hear is what you get. Yeah. I think that's cool about him. Splits in the air, essentially. You got some air on it. <laughs> yeah, dude. But so good. Yeah. I love this so much. I was thinking, like, this is probably such a good song to hear live. Because you can, like, scream out the words. Yeah. And stuff. Something wild about that is they're in Japan. They're screaming English lyrics. Mm. That is so wild. Mm-hmm. And, uh,. I don't know about you, but anytime I hear fan chants, I get like cold chills. Like not ch- cold chills, but like goosebumps. I can't yeah. like, I don't know. It's like uncontrollable. My body's just like, oh my God, this is amazing. And uh, Cause you're literally seeing the effects of what music can do. Yeah. To yeah. Yeah. He's one of my favorite bases ever. I love that. Dude, I think he does something right here that is just like, oh my god, it's so perfect. (laughs) 
<laughs> so epic. <laughs> Uh, Dude, that, anytime, like, especially when we were in Bradbury, yeah, and we played live. All the endings. We would always do that yes, at the dude. end of every one of our songs, yeah. no matter if it was, like, a slow song or not. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> and I love drawing it out as long as we could. <laughs> yeah, We'd dude. be like, dan 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 Yeah, dude. It's so fun, man. Yeah. I, but, like, Taka literally ran up that whole stage right there and, like, jumped and freaking into that perfect, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Taka, dude, yes. Crystal said Taka will never cease to amaze me no matter how many times I hear him. I completely agree. Like, he got me whenever I first heard him <clears throat> with um, Take What You Want. There's a part in the song where he, like, pauses, and I thought my computer was messed up. Or, like, that the video had stopped playing or something. Because he literally, like, it, him singing, and then he just puts his microphone down. And it's, like, a visual of just his microphone in his hand, like, hanging down by his side. And I'm like... And it's crickets for yeah. like 50 something seconds. Oh, I can't God. remember exactly how long it is, but they're in that dome. There's 65,000 people and you could hear me do this. It's nuts how oh quiet that God. is. They all knew. Yeah. They were like, let's just look, let's let him cook. Let yeah. him cook. So he freaking got everybody there to be quiet. And then whenever he screams out, like, can you hear me? His voice cracks a little bit. And I didn't know until like literally maybe a month ago, but he actually had like really bad throat problems. I don't know exactly what he had going on, but he was sick during mm. that performance. But like you couldn't tell even that performance yeah. that right there, he was really badly sick during that oh, concert. Wow. So like, I had no, I mean, I know. Yeah. Who would know? <laughs> who would have Unless known? Somebody said, told you. Like, yeah. That's crazy. But dude, I don't know. I just, I absolutely love their style. I love how powerful of a vocalist he is. Yeah. Every seeing the four of them play music together since like really watching them a lot now. Every time I see them play music together, I'm like, yes, those are four dudes doing what they were like put on this earth to yeah. do, and they're loving it. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I like seeing that. It's yeah. genuine, you know. I could definitely like. I was. I mean, obviously, I'm biased, so I watch the drummer a yeah, lot yeah. when we do. Oh these, God, he's and, a and I was just like, oh. Yeah. He's good. Like yeah. he was in it. His set was awesome. Yeah. So yeah. Dude, yeah. if you watch some of his stuff like about the drummer, he is like <laughs> one of my favorite humans, dude. He's just like so he's like ah all the time and he's got like three little kids, but he's just such like a uh, he's such a kid himself and I freaking love it, man. I don't know. Again, guys, thank y'all so very much. If y'all would ever like to watch one of our live, now that's what I call a list. There's a link to my Twitch channel in the description below. That's where we stream all of those. The entire stream that this was taken from is also in our Patreon, and I'll link our Patreon in the description below as well, too. Thank you guys so much for checking this out. I hope y'all are having a blessed day or night, whatever time it is you're watching this. Spread some positivity out there. Be kind to each other, and if anybody needs anything at all, all of my socials are at John Reeves Live. Send me a message and I'll catch y'all next time. Freaking toodles!